Uh, today I'm just going to cover how to cover uh, some of the hardware issues with the newest updated version of Windows 10, which is 1709. As you can see, today's the 29th as I make this video, and uh, my computer recently upgraded or updated to 1709 because I have the automatic update feature set up on my computer. Now, the main problem I had was that when I did update to this version, my screen was really fuzzy and barely readable, um, and I also lost my audio. Um, luckily, I have a second screen hooked up through the VGA. Uh, my main screen is set up through DV, the DVD HDMI cord, so I have a feeling that's, well, obviously that's the one that's being affected the most. So um, if you're experiencing this issue, um, probably the, the bet, and you have the luxury of having a second screen, what you want to do is right click on your desktop, go to display settings and go down here where it talks about multiple displays. If you're using more than one monitor, then you have it set up with extended displays. What you wanna do is click on duplicate these displays. That way you can see what you're doing on your other monitor, okay? If you do not have uh, more than one monitor set up on your video card uh, or on your computer, then you can try connecting to your monitor using either the old uh, VGA cord or the DMI cord, uh, but not use the DVD. At least that's my personal experience. Okay, so what you need to do, depending upon, um, I have a GeForce NVIDIA graphics driver. Um, so if we go right click on your Windows icon, go to device manager you can see under display drives i'm sorry i'm sorry display adapters i mean i have an nvidia geforce gtx 550 ti so this is where you will find out what your display adapter is which is nvidia now after um, i updated to windows 1709 I went to NVIDIA, tried to update the graphics card, none of that worked, the screen was still fuzzy. So ultimately I had to end up uninstalling the Windows updates. Well, it's not a good thing to update to remove the updates because it's better security and better options. So if you can positively get the latest updates, that's the best fix for your computer because it's, it's best to stay updated. So if you want to be able to have the latest features and securities on the updates, then you're going to have to do a couple of fixes first to try and get the 1709 update to work. So what I did is I simply came uh, to this section here. You know, I, I right-clicked on my display adapter and I uninstalled it. Okay. The other thing that you'll need to do is You'll need to, uh, if you go down here to your search bar and type in uninstall or start to type in uninstall, you'll see add or remove programs. Click on that. You'll want to go down to your driver. So I ha again, mine's a GeForce NVIDIA. So I'm going to go down here and look for NVIDIA. And one at a time, I'm going to delete all of these drivers until there's nothing left here from NVIDIA. So I completely uninstalled all the drivers. Um, actually, I did this first, and then I went and checked the hardware, and I actually did not have to uninstall from the hardware section. Okay. One last thing, if you have a desktop feature, um, so for, for NVIDIA GeForce, they have what's called the GeForce Experience, where this will keep your desktop up to date with the freshest drivers and software and all that good stuff. You'll want to make sure this is completely uninstalled as well. Okay, So uninstall this. Now you've uninstalled your drivers, you've uninstalled your um, your special software that updates your, your drive, and then you can go in here and check, go to device manager. After you've uninstalled that, most likely your display adapter will be gone because there's no driver anymore. But if it's not, then you're going to right-click, click on 
uninstall device. So once you have completely uninstalled it, you're going to restart your computer. Once it boots back up, then you're going to go to um, your hardware manufacturer's website directly, and you're going to get the latest driver software from there. So what I did is I simply went to GeForce NVIDIA website, and then I downloaded this GeForce Experience. Once it installed, it showed me what the latest driver was, and I went ahead, as you can see here, GeForce Game Ready, that it's already been installed. Um, updated everything and now everything works perfect as it did before and I have Windows 1709 update. Okay, if this does not work with your particular driver for some reason and you've uninstalled everything, you've tried to reinstall it and your screen still remains to be fuzzy, then unfortunately you will have to go back to the previous version of Windows uh, until there's a fix or driver solution for 1709. I would imagine it's probably going to take maybe a month or two for the um, hardware manufacturers to make sure they're up to speed because they'll get a lot of feedback from people letting them know it's not working. If you have to un go back to a previous version of Windows, then you're simply going to go down here to the search bar again and you're going to go just type in restore Oh, I'm sorry, you're going to type in recovery. And as you'll see up here, it says recovery options. You click on that. There's going to be three options here. The one you want is in the middle where it says go back to the previous version of Windows 10. So you just simply click on get started. And it's going to ask you, you know, why are you going back to your previous version? You're going to click on my apps or devices don't work on this build. Click on Next. It's going to make sure you check for updates to make sure that everything is working before you absolutely um, go back to the previous version. So you want to click on No Thanks, and then that will continue to go through the process. I'm not going to do it because, of course, I'm not going to go back. But a couple of things that you want to make sure that you check before. So uh, before you go back to the previous version is you want to make sure there's no other updates that are here still pending. Um, you want to make sure that your motherboard is up to date in terms of the BIOS software. So you want to make sure all those standard things are done. And if you've exhausted those, then you just go back, or you just don't want to mess with any of this, then you can go back to the previous uh, version of Windows. Okay? So I hope that helps you out here today. Um, have a great day, and good luck.